tonight. Say goodbye to Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and say hello to gays serving openly in the military. Well, today, President Obama signed the landmark law overturning the policy imposed during the Clinton presidency. I say to all Americans, gay or straight, who want nothing more than to defend this country in uniform, your country needs you, your country wants you, and we will be honored to welcome you into the ranks of the finest military the world has ever known. So does that mean that our Commander-in-Chief believes that it's time for some American colleges and universities to stop their discrimination against the troops by allowing, of course, ROTC back on campus? Harvard, Yale, and Columbia have expressed interest in reconsidering the situation. Joining us now from New York is Alice Hennigan, a Fox News contributor. Okay, Alice, so first of all, Merry Christmas. Great and to see same you. Same to you, same to you. Uh, Okay, so the president argues, and he's, he was successful in, in this endeavor in getting mm -hmm. Don't Ask, Don't Tell right, thank God. repealed. Okay, Good so job. He, he said, look, that was discriminatory, and we can't do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we fast forward to today and college campuses that still ban recruiting on campus and still ban full participation of ROTC on campus. Isn't it time that those schools you know, stop discriminating against the military that they said they have nothing but the highest regard for. Well, I think it's fine if any of those private universities want to establish ROTC programs. No, no problem at all. But I certainly don't think they have any obligation to, Laura, any more than they would have an obligation to have a, a truck driver training program or a police officer training well, program. Here's the it's difference. fine, but you don't have yeah. to do it. Here's the difference, though, Ellis, is that by the good graces, the hard work, the blood, sweat, and tears of the U.S. military, okay. folks at uh, my old alma mater, Dar Dartmouth College, or Columbia, or mm -hmm. Harvard, or Yale, they get to learn and teach and work at these esteemed institutions. Well, and they're protected, and their security is protected. How can you say that our own military should not be given free access to do what every other organization does? Every other company and organization can do on campus. Well, that is, that is, that that is why people hate the elites, because well, that, that, of that simply, snobby attitude. That's simply not true, Laura. I mean, there are many organizations that are not invited to set up programs on campuses. And, and the fact that we live under the freedoms doesn't mean that every single institution in our society needs to be in the soldier training business. You know, Laura, They're there are a lot of ways. No, 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 Alice. There are wrong, a lot of ways we can wrong. serve our country besides carrying a gun. So there is an animosity toward people in uniform in a lot of these okay. elite institutions. Maybe. Would you agree with that? Well, uh, there is some, as there is uh, against a lot of other people in this. Sure. There is prejudice no. everywhere, no doubt about so it. So when they when they said though that oh well we are just opposing the military recruiters in ROTC because of don't ask don't tell, they were being disingenuous then. The the, the stu schools well, that don't allow access, they were I'm being not, disingenuous. I'm were not they not? Sure. I'm not sure how you can say that. My analysis of it is that there were several reasons they didn't want them on campus. And that part of it was don't ask, don't tell. There is some anti-military feeling like you talk about. There, there are some policy differences. There were questions about the academic standards in some of these ROTC programs. And most important of all, there's they a hate judgment. the military. No, That's there's, the point. No, no, no. Well, listen, there's some of that anywhere. But there's a judgment and a reasonable judgment. I, I think you would agree that some institutions could say, hey, listen, we want to teach English and history and literature, and we don't want to be in the soldier training business. But, well, Why? But Alice, have you an keep saying that. To do that. Uh, you, you, you're killing me here. There's well, no soldier the, the training, okay? It. No, no, the school is not training. The school well, is not doing training they, itself. The ROTC folks who come right. on and they they hold ROTC right. on campuses they just like all these and other they groups teach a lot do. Of stuff like that. Yeah. Right. And 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 they're treated like second class citizens currently at Harvard University, where students have to take a bus and go over to MIT. God bless MIT, where they can fully participate yeah. in, in in reserve officer training. Um, you know, a core. And that someone, is why that is ridiculous. Why, and it's the elites Laura, versus the rest of the country once again. Why? They prove themselves to be totally incapable of treating these people with respect. Why, it's abominable. Laura, MIT teaches all kind of things that Harvard doesn't teach. And you know what? People who want those courses go to MIT, and people who want to study the other stuff go to Harvard. Okay, so I get the idea. Don't that ask, it's fine don't to tell. Have it. Was a total. No? That was a total no? phony issue. You keep, yeah, I think you keep think, saying that. Yeah, it was phony. It was, a, it, was a, it was a it was a ruse the whole time. They, was, they didn't want them there. They don't like them. They don't like their values. But was, Ellis, I like you. It was, and Isn't I that a great love segue? you, do Laura. And I'm gonna uh, ask and tell anytime we see each other. All right, Pinheads and Patriots <laughs> is up next. Merry Christmas.